Welcome to this video. My name is Francesco and I'm going to take you through some of the more recent Google changes to documents. And this is the introduction of something called Help Me Write. I'm gonna show you how it works as I've now got labs access. So for those who are interested whilst watching this video, how to get labs access, I'll include the link in the description, but basically you need to apply for it. Um, in the workspace accounts, you have to express interest, which means that your administration of uh, the admin of your organization basically has to approve it. But if you're just a solo user, as a personal user, it seemed pretty simple to get access to the AI assisting functions. So we're gonna go ahead and create a blank document. And one thing I like about this is how you don't necessarily have to use it all of the time. So if I were to knock that one away, then it, it is prompted, uh, well, the prompt is available here, which means I don't actually have to always use it, which is something that I was concerned about when I initially um, checked this feature out. So obviously if I do want to use it, like I do want to do in this video, then what I can do is pop it open and I can start it with a prompt that will essentially help me with a certain piece that I'm writing. So I might want to write a thank you letter to my boss for supporting me with the latest AI announcement and or please add some references to um, the release and help with uh, announcing on LinkedIn. So this should be a good enough prompt to get started. So I'm going to go ahead and press create. And as you can see, this card like um, background uh, in Google Bard obviously connect kicks things off. So obviously it didn't really get it entirely right. You can see down at the bottom here, it's not really understood my prompt, but to be honest, I don't know whether that's something that I probably screwed up on, but it says here, dear boss name, I want to take a moment to thank you for your support, etc. The announcement was a huge success. It also referenced to me, I would also like to thank you for helping with the release of LinkedIn. So helpful here, so you could, uh, I think it's what it's doing here is referencing what you should add. So there's a few things here that you can do when you prompt a piece. And obviously you can rate it, which is quite helpful. You can recreate it, which is regenerating it, or you can do a few things. You can shorten it, formalize it, elaborate or rephrase. In this case, I'm going to formalize it because it's for my boss. Maybe I want to make it a bit more formalized. I believe I just click on that anyway. Let's see what it comes up with. So it looks a little bit tighter. Um, oh, here we go, it didn't, it didn't actually do it. I thought it looked a little bit stronger, but let's go with short and see whether it does it. But this runs off Google Bard, so obviously it's still early days. There we go, the shortened version looks great. So I'm gonna go and press insert. Now one of the things that Google actually released a few months ago, uh, I believe should be available in my version, is the actual ability to use uh, building blocks, which is something called email draft. So this can essentially be prepared inside of email. I guess I could have done that inside of here. I'm not t entirely sure, no you can't. But if you had this below, you could drag what you wrote in and you could start prompting this email perfectly. So for example, I could say uh, bob at bob.com <laughs> and press enter. Then I could go and press this preview in Gmail. And as you can see, it prompts a little page open and I've got my AI based piece within email ready to send. So this can be quite helpful when quickly sending through an email. But you get the idea of how the system works, that obviously the better you prompt it, the higher quality the outcome. So it's well worth having a look at to see whether this is something that can advance for you. As I said, this is currently a labs sign up, so you'll have to find a link in description and obviously go to that. But if you're interested in more productivity based software stuff, then you can jump over to Tool Finder, which has all of the latest productivity tools and resources, or you can follow more videos here on this channel. My name is Francesco, and thank you very much for tuning in to help me write with Google Workspace. Mm -hmm.